Find the slope given two points. Here's our two points on number seven. Three, five. And three, negative 12. Okay. Before we start, we need to claim that one of these points is point one and one of them is point two. You'll get exactly the same answer if you flip it. So it doesn't matter. We just need to declare one is one and the other is the other. So let's say this is point one. And this one will be point two. Now, you know in the ordered pair that the first number is x value and the second number is the y value. So let's say that this is the x value and we're in point one. That little one down here is just a label. It's not anything mathematical. So it just shows us that x1, the first x, is 3. So this would be the first y. Now the only way you can mess this up is by saying x1, y2. These both have to be one number. It doesn't matter whether they're both ones or they're both twos, but they both have to be the same thing. Now come over here, this is x2 and y2. And then we can write our formula. The slope formula is, um, and then we usually denote slope with the letter m equals the difference in the y's minus the difference in the x's. Again, if you start with 2 and you minus the first one for the y's, you have to start with the second one on the x's and minus the first one. Gotta keep everything in order. Now, y2 we're going to um, put in as negative 12. y1 is 5. Now, be very careful here because if y1 was a negative, you'd want to go ahead and put this in parentheses so that you could really see that there was going to be a uh, sign change there. Since it's positive, I can if I want to or I don't have to. Now, x2 is 3. And then x1 is 3. Negative 12 minus 5 is negative 17. 3 minus 3 is 0. And that's my slope. Now, you cannot divide by a 0. That's mathematically impossible. And one of the reasons you can, or the reason you can, you go up here and you put in any number here, like 9, you would still get 0 here. So there's no division number that I could put in here to get a quotient. So this is what we call undefined. And that is the answer to this question. Don't call it zero because a zero slope is much different than an undefined slope. Remember that a zero slope is the line goes horizontal. An undefined slope, the line is vertical. Okay. Now, um, just extra information here. If we have a y equals some number and we need to graph that, that will graph as a horizontal line with zero slope. But if we have a x equals something, that will graph as a vertical line 
with an undefined slope. So make sure you keep that in your head. Um, it seems counterintuitive to what you know because you're used to thinking x-axis going horizontal but when you're graphing a line that says x equals something it's a vertical line. 